please welcome to week number three of our course, The Minister's Wife. Now this week we're going to be focusing on other people. Now I know that sounds pretty obvious that we in ministry should always focus on other people, but we have taken sometimes to think about ourselves, our relationship with the Lord, and our relationship with others. This week's topic is promote others. Now, I don't mean like promote them like to another rank or to another position, but instead promote others really means how do we encourage? How do we lift up? How do we help other people? So in our week, we're gonna be reading and discussing and interacting about the topic of affirmation. Affirmation is so important to each one of us, but in ministry, it is huge. So important for us to affirm others. And then encouragement. Encouragement is certainly biblical. We know that the gift of encouragement or exhortation is spoken about in the Bible and that there are Christians who are given that gift. Aren't we grateful when people have the gift of encouragement who we live with in our homes and we work with in our churches? It's wonderful to be encouraged by others. Well, the third part of our discussion this week is on ministry to others. And that's what I want to chat with you about for a few moments. When we think of ministry to others, we need to think about how God has gifted each one of us in unique ways to glorify Him and to serve others. And those spiritual gifts are very special. The Bible tells us that each Christian from the time of her salvation is given spiritual gifts. And the Bible also says there are a variety of spiritual gifts. Each of us receives a spiritual gift, but none of us has all of the spiritual gifts. That's why it is so important for us to serve together as the body of Christ. I love this definition of a spiritual gift. A spiritual gift is a special ability given by God to certain believers for ministry and service. How wonderful to know that it is God Himself who is the giver of all of our gifts. And because God is perfect, we have to trust that He has given us just the perfect spiritual gifts for each one of us to possess. So He does. He gives us gifts not because we earn them, not because we deserve them, not even because we beg for them, but He gives us those gifts so that we can use them, as our definition says, uh, for ministry and for service. That's really one of the differences between spiritual gifts and natural talents. Wow, we have some very talented people in the world. We have some very talented people in our churches. So talents are those natural abilities that many times we're born with or we inherit or we just learn a skill over time. And those are wonderful because we enjoy them and other people enjoy them. Oftentimes, talents can be used as spiritual gifts. When we're using those natural talents as a ministry and service, they can be gifts. I know people who are gifted in music. Well, they could be singing just for their own enjoyment or singing to entertain other people. But when they sing, in order to worship the Lord and to minister to others, then that music is a spiritual gift. Aren't we grateful that many people have such wonderful spiritual gifts? But you also need to remember you are gifted. Nothing is worse than saying, I don't have a spiritual gift. If you do say that, you're questioning uh, the truth of God's Word when He says He has gifted every believer. So you do have a spiritual gift. You may have several spiritual gifts. What a joy to ask the Lord to help you to discover, develop, and use your spiritual gifts. I have to tell you, my husband says, I have three spiritual gifts that are not in the Bible. He thinks he has the gift of discernment. So he's told me my three spiritual gifts are talking, and I do love to talk, sleeping, and I do love to sleep, shopping, and I do love to shop. So by the way, ladies, if the Bible says we're to develop our spiritual gifts, I just tell my husband I've got to go to the mall using his credit card to practice my gift of shopping. 
Well, you understand what I'm saying when we talk about unique spiritual gifts. Now, those shopping gifts are only gifts if I am using it to glorify the Lord and to minister to others. So I pray this week as you're considering your spiritual gifts that the Lord will affirm in you again how gifted you are and how He wants you to serve others with His help and His power. God bless you as you minister to others. Thank you.